For centuries, the Arula tribesmen made their living harvesting snakeskins for boots and belts. But when the Indian government banned such practices, they decided to put their astounding snake-catching skills to a new use, capturing them to collect snake venom. They do this for a living. It's one of the high-risk livelihoods in the world. Yeah, come, let's go see the Arulas and go snake hunting. All right, let's go. So what are we going to hunt today? We're going to hunt the four most common venomous snakes in India. They are the Russell's viper, the Soskel viper, the common cobra, and the common crate. Once they see the snake itself, they will first try to figure out where the head is, and then they will hold on to the tail with one end and try and maneuver the snake out. They're usually not taken by surprise. We also find the largest crates in the country here. What size? Six feet and above. Crate is the most venomous land snake and people sleep on the ground and the crate crawls along the body on the trail of a rat and if they flinch it just bites. And the interesting thing is it's more like a wasp sting. So if someone complains of, oh, an insect bit me, they'll say, yeah, we'll see in the morning. But the trouble is by morning, the person is paralyzed. Before anti-venom was widely available, the common crate's powerful neurotoxin led to an 85% mortality rate. Today, the availability of the Arulu's life-saving serum has reduced that death rate by nearly 50%. The snake catchers continued with their hunt when some local kids alerted them to more snakes hiding in rocks near their play area. They found Saskia by for some very, very poisonous. Are these little ones? Yeah, a very small snake. The maximum they get to be is a foot, foot and a half. Saw-scaled vipers are so named because of the unique sound created when they move. Can you hear them grate their scales? There it is, there it is. These are still poisonous. Oh yes, they are. Though small, the saw-scaled viper delivers up to five times the lethal dosage of hemotoxin. The venom attacks the red blood cells, causing uncontrolled internal bleeding. The victim dies over a period of days from massive cranial hemorrhaging. Once you have a bite, what is the length of time before you have to have the antivenom? Unless we can estimate a way of figuring out how much venom the snake's delivered into your body, it's going to be very hard to say how many minutes you have. So the only thing is to get to a hospital as soon as possible. That's the only thing you can do. After catching a number of the small but lethal saw scales, the snake hunters now enter a terrain perfect for perhaps India's most feared serpent. So you have undisturbed, relatively landscape on this side, and then you have rice field here, and this is ideal Russell's habitat. The Russell's viper has the loudest hiss of India's deadliest snakes, so the Arula poke around in the bushes, hoping to hear its telltale sound. Okay, this guy's got it by the tail. The Russell's Viper is extremely aggressive and delivers massive doses of hemotoxin in every bite. You don't want to be on the receiving end of this critter. There's a snake. Where's the lipstick camera? Ooh. 
Look at Ben. Then I'm all over that thing. Bomb it. Russell's Viper just tried to destroy our camera. Nasty little guys. What happens now? Well, we'll take the snakes to their luck warp and we will watch them extract the venom. Yeah, let's do it. In the last 30 years, the co-op produces over 90% of India's venom for production of anti-venom serum. Now, this is kind of ironic because these are one of the poorest people in the country producing one of the most expensive substances in the world. So these are all snakes here, all of them. Every single pot has a snake. That's the current stock. They have 1,379 snakes, of which 1,319 are saw-scale vipers, 36 russels, 10 crates, and 14 cobras. How is anti-venom made from this liquid? OK, most people who are bitten don't show up at a hospital and say, I was bitten by a cobra or a crate. The arula mixed the venom of four deadly snakes and then inject small doses into a horse until that animal develops an immunity. The horse's antibodies are then extracted and made into anti-venom for humans. The snake catchers hand over their first snake. Today's deadliest catch will fetch the equivalent of $24, enough to feed a typical family for a month. Which one is this? Russell. If I get bit, my wife will kill me. When a snake first comes in, the arula weigh, measure, and mark it. He's going to extract the venom now. Each snake is milked three times at the co-op before they release it back into the wild. Janaki, I gotta be honest with you. I thought that these guys were crazy for handling these deadly snakes, but now I know they do it because they're saving lives. Most people are scared of snakes because they bite and cause a lot of mortality. But when you know that there is a life-saving medicine available, then you're less inclined to kill the snakes. So the snakes benefit. The arulas can make a living. The citizens of India have a anti-venom serum. So everyone wins in this case.